More and more people today care about their personal hygiene. As the population is growing, the question about hygiene is a great concern. Where is the most frequent place that everyone visits as a daily routine? The toilet. Everyone uses the toilet every day. It is the most common place to grow and spread bacteria, especially in crowded places such as shopping malls, schools, and hospitals. The most obvious way to spread bacteria in the washroom is by mist. Mist is microscopic and cannot be spotted by the naked eye, yet it exists. How is mist formed? Mist is formed when we flush after using the toilet or urinal. The force of the flushing water causes splashing, which in turn leads to the formation of mist. Mist can adhere to any surface inside the toilet. Even if we are careful when using the urinal or toilet, mist can still adhere to our clothes and skin. Mist contains bacteria, chemicals, and viruses, which can be hazardous to our health. Conventional exhaust fans can extract some of the mist out of the washroom. However, the untreated mist so expelled will contaminate the area outside the washroom and adhere to anyone near the exhaust fans. Moreover, it will bring the mist that originally stays at the lower position up into the air we breathe. What would you be taking into your stomach if you have a hamburger right after using the washroom? You don't want to be hugging or playing with your loved ones and then make them sick, right? However, it is hard to isolate yourself from the mist unless you dress up in protective gear before entering the washroom to use the toilet or urinal. Have you ever felt that you are freezing when you visit the washrooms in shopping malls and restaurants? That is a way to keep the odor level down, but it is difficult to reduce the level of the airborne bacteria and odor in the mist. The odor is caused by volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, from cleaning detergents and by the smell of urine. Installing an exhaust fan can help to remove the smell, but this will lead to the problem described above. The exhaust fan will also continuously remove conditioned air, leading to a waste of energy. The mist extraction system. With the NCCO toilet system, the airflow can be controlled and pollutants are prevented from escaping from the toilet or urinal. The NCCO toilet system creates a continuous airflow confining the mist carrying harmful pollutants, bacteria and viruses in the toilet or urinal. The mist will immediately enter the system for further treatment. In other words, the amount of pollutants adhered to uses and suspended in the air will be reduced significantly. The harmful pollutants, along with the mist, will be treated by the NCCO toilet system. The mist contains various bacteria and viruses. These bacteria can multiply rapidly under suitable environmental conditions such as temperature and humidity. With conventional odor filters, they will become the ultimate place for the growth and multiplication of bacteria. Once the conventional odor filters are in use, the accumulated bacteria will then be released into the air, hence producing secondary pollution. As the mist travels through the NCCO toilet system, it will come into contact with the active oxygen generated by the active oxygen generator inside the toilet system. The active oxygen will minimize the bacteria growth and the mist will then be transferred to the mist filter along with the airflow. The mist filter is specially designed in sections and aligned with absorption materials. The mist filter traps and condenses the moisture from the incoming air. The pollutants in the mist will pass through the mist filter and enter the system for further treatment. The trapped bacteria and viruses are inactivated or even destroyed by the active oxygen generated by the system. As a result, the bacteria and viruses will no longer be a threat to human health. Gaseous pollutants will then enter the NCCO reactor. The NCCO reactor will decompose VOCs from cleaning supplies and the foul odor from urination in the washroom into harmless water and carbon dioxide. It will also decompose any excess ozone generated by the system into oxygen. The treated odorless clean air will be redirected back into the washroom. 
The NCCO toilet system will keep the bacteria, viruses and odor in the washroom to the minimal level. Therefore, the NCCO toilet system can eliminate bacteria and viruses and greatly reduce the amount of contaminated mess suspended in the air and adhered to the user's clothes and other surfaces. Unlike the traditional exhaust system, when the NCCO toilet system is in use, thanks to its internal design which is integrated into the toilet or urinal itself, the cool air produced by the air conditioner will not be continuously extracted out to the environment. As a result, clean conditioned air will be circulated back into the toilet, which in turn saves energy and money. We have already installed the NCCO toilet system into Moon Hospital, which is one of the busiest hospitals in Hong Kong. Before the installation of our system, elevated levels of bacteria and ammonia in the air of the public toilet space have reached critical levels. After the installation of our system in both male and female washrooms, the amounts of both pollutants have decreased significantly. The air quality inside of the toilet has been qualified as in the excellent class according to the indoor air quality for airborne bacteria suggested by the Hong Kong Environmental Protection Department, which is a standard applied in offices. At the same time, no ammonia could be detected. This demonstrates the powerfulness and effectiveness of our NCCO unit. By utilizing our state-of-the-art technology, RHT Limited can help you to solve the unsolvable.